Hey y'all, welcome back to another Mask Monday. Uh, today I'm just gonna be doing um, a quick tip where we're gonna seal the mask. Um, I, I get asked this like a lot, like what do you use to seal uh, the mask? And it's simple. Baby, I could pay you to a kiss from a rose on a gray. And that's how you seal it. There's a lot of ways to seal a mask. Uh, there's not just one way to seal a mask. Um, first of all, I'd like to point out before we start sealing masks that you don't always have to. Um, this mask right here, the Moon Goon, is two paints. You do the base coat latex paint, and then I stippled um, the white latex paint on top. There's no need to seal this mask. The only reason why I would um, seal this mask is if I wanted to change the finish of it. If I wanted it to be super glossy, um, then I would gloss it. Or if I wanted it to be really matte, then I would matte it. Um, I'm pretty happy with the finish of it already. So there's no point in, in sealing this mask. So this one I want to be um, like semi-glossy. So I'm gonna use um, something I've used on some videos before. This just says uh, GLF for gloss finish. So it's 50% mask making latex and 50% um, water-based polyurethane. Important thing here is water-based. I've done this process before, um, all of this actually, but like in other videos you can see me do the matte finish, you can see me do the gloss finish. Um, but I just wanted to make a video specifically about sealing a mask. So um, there's nothing thinning this out at all. Um, the polyurethane is, is not super thick like the latex is, so this is like thinner than uh, just straight latex. But um, you're still gonna wanna thin it out just a little bit. Um, and the way that I do that is I just kinda fill my cup and then I just do a quick spray of distilled water. This is pretty forgiving. It will dry translucent, but still try to move around. Don't just stay in one spot. I'm gonna do one more quick pass on this. And especially kind of getting it the ears and stuff and the top of the head and kind of get that nice shine. What you really wanna be careful of is if you're trying to go up on the top and then you just spill whatever's in your cup all over your mask. I've done that more times than I can count. Cool, so that one's all sealed up. Now this one, for example, this pretty much is the finish that I want. It's already pretty matte. Um, the reason why I'm going to seal it though is because I used all these inks. So the, the it, I did latex black paint and then I stippled on like the spooky white paint. And then, um, then I went in and I went in with the airbrush and I did all of this stuff with ink and alcohol. When you paint with the inks, the ink kind of like stains the paint under it. So it's not just gonna wipe away, but it, you know, you could easily, if you scratched it or whatever, um, just wipe like a little bit off and it wouldn't, it wouldn't look, it wouldn't have that subtlety that you wanted it to. So that's why we're gonna finish this one um, with the matte finish. Shake your matte finish up really good, swirl it around. Um, wanna do this pretty light. If you really kind of cake this on, then it will crack. Cool, so uh, that's three different ways to uh, seal up a mask. We have latex paints, so you don't have to seal it. Half mask making latex, half polyurethane, and then we have Krylon matte finish. Um, and again, I wanna say, just reiterate that there's a million things that you can use to seal your mask. Um, another one that I used on the Tarman was the Liquitex Gloss Medium. You can use that. Um, you can get the Permawet from uh, Monster Makers. Uh, I've heard people use uh, Plasti Dip. Um, I've never used Permawet or Plasti Dip. I'm sure that they work if people use them. And um, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this week's Mask Monday. Uh, maybe next week we'll be putting gloss on these guys. And uh, we'll see you then. Like, share, subscribe, and visit us at nightmaretoys.com.